The start of the Dokbyang RATCH was signaled by the construction Thanksgiving worship given for the lodging facility on the 15th with 1,800 committed workers. This year's World Bremen Conference will be held starting July 31st for four days at Dago Exco. The 15th World Business Persons Conference was held under the theme Spiritual Mutual Communication and was concluded on the 16th with lay leaders and business people resolving to renew their basics and commission. Reverend Yu Kwangsu's message is being broadcast in 70 regions of 24 nations. Starting from this year, the Church Lead Leader Graduate Program is being revised to be centered on the individual church. It is currently being held in 292 churches in Korea, as well as churches in Chicago, USA. The Evangelism Alliance Resource Department is operating a one-step service and solution for various messages and evangelism resources through email and telephone. Hello everyone! Right now, the 2012 Philippines Remnant Conference is being held at the Manila Star Theater within the realization of the life of the evangelist. We will begin the RETC broadcast Philippine News. First news. The historic construction Thanksgiving service for the RETC lodging heralding the age of the RETC was held on the 15th in Dokdong where 1,800 of the Business Persons Conference participants also attended. Reverend Yu Kwangsu stated that through the RETC, the field of internships where remnants can be trained, specialized schools that will raise elites, and healing centers that can heal spiritual problems will be established. With that, the works of God that no one can block will begin. The worship was opened with a report by the RATC Construction Management Director Elder Zhang Bongsu, followed by a prayer by Reverend Kim Dong Gon, Senior Board Member. The congratulatory message by Reverend Chung Eun Ju, Chairman of the RATC Construction Committee, and the benediction by Reverend Choi Jung Eun, Director of the World Evangelization Evangelism Alliance Incorporated. Following the worship, there was a tape cutting ceremony with 20 people, including the Senior Board Pastors, Lay Leaders, and Vice Mayor of Ichan Kim Gyeong Yi. With a groundbreaking ceremony, the construction was begun full force. The RETC lodging facility will house 500 people in its two-story underground, four stories above ground building. It will be completed in April of next year, and when the construction is completed, over 1,500 will be able to lodge at the Dokbyeong RETC at once. In addition, with the start of the RETC lodging facility construction, offerings of people who have placed the RETC in their hearts are continuing. There are about 2,000 people who are depositing the offering every month, and about them, 71 of them have pledged over $50,000. Last month, Deacon Sfera Han from the Moscow Jail Church donated $3,000 to the RETC, and in March, ordained Deacon Ji Sung Hun gave 2,000 Pyongland in Adudong Guhe to the RETC. 22,370 people from 38 nations have given $49 million since the RETC offering first began in 2005. This year's World Remnant Conference will be held under the theme Realization of the Mission of the Remnant Missionary and will begin with the Remnant Summit on July 23rd, the Leaders' Retreat on the 25th, and the Conference on the 31st. Also starting from this year, the competition Top Remnant, where the remnants will showcase their talents, will be held. The Remnant Summit will be held from July 23rd for three days, and the Leaders' Retreat will begin on the 25th for four days at the Dago Hana Church. The World Remnant Conference will begin on the 31st for four days at the Dagu Exco with three lectures by Rev. Yu Kuang Su and various competitions like Top Remnant and Remnant Idea Challenge. Registrations are until June 22nd through RETC.com. In addition, the Remnant Day through which the mission for the remnants is proclaimed each month is being held in 20 regions of four nations, namely Korea, U.S., Canada, and Japan. After the remnant performances every fourth Saturday, the school evangelization message is given. Following remnant day, there is also a camp in the field centered on the regional evangelism institutes. The Busan Youth Evangelism Institute had a time of praise camp in front of Busan City Hall following the April remnant day, where 60 students had a time to share the gospel. Also, the Seoul Kangso College Evangelism Institute prepared an evangelism camp following the April remnant day where 60 remnants had a workshop of sharing the basic gospel message of the way of salvation. Then, teams were formed with three to four students and they went around the Evangelism Institute 
sharing the gospel with people that they met with. Slowly, the culture of a Saturday for evangelism is expanding. Also, starting from this year's Remnant Conference, the top Remnant competition will be held where students can showcase their talents. Following the nationwide preliminaries, the actual contest will be held in August during the Remnant Conference. Additionally, the Remnant Idea Challenge will also be held during the World Remnant Conference, where Remnants will be submitting their ideas for evangelism and missions. College and graduate school students are conducting a research on the three industries, and elementary to high school students are submitting ideas regarding evangelism and missions. You can register by June 3rd. The 15th World Business Persons Conference was held on the 14th with a business persons camp training at the Remnant Theological Seminary with 1,800 participants. Through the five lectures during the camp training and conference, Rev. Yu Kuang Su spoke about the three basics and two necessities that lay leaders and business people must possess in order to have spiritual mutual communication. Rev. Yu stated that the three basics that lay leaders and business people must be equipped with in order to have spiritual mutual communication are prayer, evangelism, and finances. The two necessities are the resolution to save the churches that are crumbling, as well as the commission to fight against the social, cultural, and religious enterprises of the world. <laughs> 지도 이전에 두 개가 있습니다. 제일 첫 번째 것이 뭐냐? 시대 보는 눈입니다. 지금 열리고 있는 중직자 시대라는 단어를 볼수 있어요. 중직자 시대란 단어 속에는 세 가지가 들어 있습니다. OMC란 단어가 들어 있어요. 산업인이란 산업 선교 들어 있어요. 전 중직자들이 일어나는 중직자 모임, 중직자 대학원이 있어요. 중직자 대학원 무조건 등록 다 하세요. Lastly, Reverend Yu emphasized that business people must have the mystery of enjoying the filling of the Holy Spirit in a normal state, and that they must gain the strength that God gives moment by moment. He stated that they must pray concentrated prayer when problems or crises come. Reverend Yu Kuang-su's messages are being broadcast overseas in 70 regions of 24 nations, including the Philippines, Japan, U.S., Austria, Kazakhstan, Switzerland, Tanzania, and Peru. The RUTC Broadcasting Station is currently broadcasting the business and industry missions and core messages in the Philippines through the Baguio Cable Channel, Sky TV, as well as in five regions in Manila through cable broadcast. Also, Do TV in Lausanne, Switzerland used to broadcast only the Sunday messages and the prayer journal message, but is now broadcasting the Christ that I have met, Praise 24, and the Missions Conference message. It is currently broadcasting the contents of the RUTC Broadcasting Station to five nations in Europe, North Africa, and five nations in the Middle East through satellite. Also in March, the RUTC Broadcasting Station signed a contract with Cornerstone TV, one of the biggest Christian broadcasts in the U.S. So Rev. Hughes' core message is being aired in 39 key cities, including L.A. and Chicago, through cable TV, satellite, and IPTV. After signing the contract with Cornerstone TV, many churches and business people, as well as remnants in the U.S., are participating in the mission's sponsorship. The Chicago Remnant Church gave an offering of $20,000, and Deacon Park Due and Gong Nayong, business people in Chicago, and remnants Lee Eugene and Sharon Choi gave $5,000. In 2009, the Houston Antioch Church gave $2,000, and recently it again gave $2,300. In the future, the RETC Broadcasting Station will prepare a separate offering account as well as a missions foundation. At present, the RETC Broadcasting Station is currently negotiating with the Kenyan National Broadcast, Family TV, in order to send out messages in Kenya and Eastern Africa. Starting from this year, the Church Lay Leader Graduate Program has been revised. The seventh semester began on March 11th and currently 296 churches in and outside of Korea and 5,300 lay leaders are taking part in the program. The program has changed from this semester to be centered on the individual church rather than the synod and is being jointly managed. If you have enough credits, you will be exempt from taking the elder examination. Also, the offering for the first three years or six semesters is $80 and auditing is $40. With lowered costs, the program is mandatory for elders, senior deaconesses, and ordained deacons. 20% of the enrollment fees go to the individual churches. Especially this semester, Chicago's Damascus Covenant Church, Hanara Church, Remnant Church, and Emmanuel Church are participating, expanding overseas participation. Churches in LA, London, and Germany have also expressed interest in taking part in the program. 
The Evangelism Alliance Resource Department is relaying messages throughout the world in an easy and quick way. It hopes to establish a place of mutual communication and provide one-stop services for various messages and evangelism resources. It has been operating since November of last year, and you can contact the office through email or telephone. Anyone can make inquiries regarding resources of all languages, and you can receive a response in 24 hours.